Hello, boys and girls. Do you remember this? And do you remember me? My name is Otsu and welcome back to another day in Minecraft. Uh, once I upgraded to 1.15, it was only natural to build a bee farm to get my hands on some honey blocks that we use in some of the builds. But this is still very much a manual form, so if you need a stack of uh, honey blocks, it takes a while. So today we are going to industrialize this build. And while bee farms, honey farms uh, are not terribly new, there are lots of tutorials out there. I think I came up with a real cool design to build around this and for that I'm excited. But first I need to gather some more resources and uh, then we will jump on with the build. When thinking about the shape of the building around the bee farm it was clear to me that it has to be hexagon based like a honeycomb. In my naive approach I thought to have one as the floor and ceiling with a larger one in the middle and then full hexagons for the slanted walls. It turns out that this is not how a hexrator is constructed. The walls are made up by equilateral triangles and these are if at all possible, then very hard to make in Minecraft on such a limited scale. Therefore, I decided for a slanted rectangle at the front and back and trapezium on the sides. With the frame set up, uh, it's now time to uh, fill in the walls. Here on the front, it will be uh, glass and on the back, it will be uh, honeycomb. Um, but uh, to get enough of those, uh, I need to uh, build the, uh, uh, the bee farm first, so we can farm the uh, honeycombs. And this farm, or this building, uh, will be uh, two layered uh, with the uh, ground layer down there uh, for the uh, for the farming and then the middle layer the big platform also uh, we probably will need less space than on the ground ground farm for breeding the the bees so let me put in the glass walls here in the front and uh, the ground floor there, the middle floor there, and then also entry and a way to get up and down. And then we can uh, build the actual farms before we uh, go into uh, further detail. The bottom floor is now in and most of the middle floor or the top floor is also present. So now let's uh, uh, start uh, with uh, building up um, this reading chamber. Um, which does not need to be too high. So basically here in uh, front we will have these uh, small gaps uh, through which the, uh, the baby bees can fit but not the larger bees. Then here on the side uh, let's place a door. So we can move in and out. 
and then I was thinking maybe have this room um, three deep that would put the back wall right here right and I did not build the walls r right out there because uh, uh, when you're putting in the the lower half of it, um, it's it's a real um, hassle uh, if you're constantly uh, hitting your head at the ceiling while building up. So, and then the roof with uh, this dark oak half slabs. Um, this should do fine uh, to avoid uh, any spawning on top of here. And it's, uh, it's a nice color variation. And then here on the side, we will have uh, maybe a bit of a larger enclosure closure here. Um, again with a door. and then we can also roof this up and i think here in the middle uh, i actually need uh, to have um out of glass right yeah uh in here i actually need grass because in here we will have beehives uh into which the uh, uh, young ones will settle and uh, once we have a free bee roaming around here we know um, uh, the beehive is full and uh, we can replace it with a new one so um, let's craft up some more yellow gloss yellow color yellow gloss don't need that one here um, we want a beehive and um, a trapdoor yep that will do very nicely right there we go put in all the walls and also here slapping the roof uh, out of it and um, probably I will replace the lower part with something different and place the beehive right here with a trap door in front of it so the bee can go, go in from any side but they can only come out from the front so uh, they will only go in and in here we will have a floor with uh, flowers that will attract the bees from over there to here 
So let me finish that, put in the piece on the other side, and then we will give this a test. As you can see, breeding goes quite well. Uh, small pro tip through, um, do the half slabs at the bottom, uh, at the top layer instead of the bottom one, uh, makes uh, the reaching through here a little easier. I have to crouch to reach them, otherwise you could just uh, do it standing up. And there you saw the newbie going into the hive. So I will breed up some more. I already have two full beehives, but uh, uh, for our farm down there, uh, which will be one row for honey, one for honeycomb, we will need quite a few. So I will do that. Then I will build up at least a set uh, of each and then we can have another look. I thought I had enough room to build two rows of these contraptions. So that's exactly the middle. But uh, as we are having the stair on this side, it did just not work out. But these contraptions are not that difficult to understand. Here on the uh, hopper, there we will place the, the beehive. And then in here, in the dispenser, we have some shears uh, to collect uh, the honeycomb and uh, lots of uh, bottles for the honey. And the important thing is the dropper needs to be filled up, otherwise the, uh, the sheared or the, the, the honeycomb or the, uh, the honey bottle would be sucked into the dispenser again instead of uh, down into the hopper. Then we have these uh, pistons here, which are all extracted because this chest here is empty and we have a contraption here on the side, uh, which goes down there to power um, the uh, the pistons and basically the dispensers are filled from the top through this hopper line and then here at the bottom there is another one for emptying it so hopefully this works out as uh, expected uh, i should be able to place in the beehives uh, with the uh, piston extended and uh, the bees cannot get out and let's do that real quick and hopefully I have enough of these otherwise I need to collect more but i think i'm just short one yep so let me collect the last one and then we also need in the flower here uh, in front close it up with uh, glass and then we can fill that um, that chest over there uh, so the uh, pistons retract and uh, the farm begins farming all beehives have been placed the lilacs have been planted and the farm has been encased with glass so now last thing to do is uh, filling the uh, chest there on top with something and we have even an indicator light so once we add this uh, the farm is activated and all the bees can pop up out 
and then let's fill up the chest completely. Um, like this, some more shears. And probably we will need to add a few more bottles. Of course, the, the shears themselves, they will be uh, consumed as uh, each shearing or each cutting uh, will do a bit of, uh, of damage to them. And... Um, but we should be okay. Uh, we have full double chest uh, worth of uh, items. And once the chest is empty, then there is still lots of things in the hopper line. So, um, but once the chest is empty, uh, the farm will be deactivated and uh, we have time to fill up. So no reason to worry and then back here we have uh, the uh, output chest which is currently not conveniently located or convenient to access because the back wall here is missing and we will do the diagonal segments with uh, honeycomb blocks then the uh, the even one with uh, with honey, and then on top we will alternate, uh, and also here in the front we will have honey and honeycomb uh, walls, and then something different for the roof. But uh, first I need to uh, collect um, all the goods here. Uh, so that I can build the walls. So that will take a while. And um, yep, I guess uh, we will see uh, the result in the end. With the walls now all complete, also the roof in place, I think this came together really nice. What I did notice though is that uh, due to the fact that uh, bottles do stack and uh, shears do not, eventually we will run out of, uh, of shears and we will have bottles everywhere in there, but that's a bit to the future. Uh, maybe uh, I could then change uh, uh, some uh, beehives over there to be fed from the other side only for shears. But let's have a look from the outside as well, because that's probably how we see it uh, most times. And um, yeah, it took quite a bit of uh, resource gathering uh, for uh, this build. I, it's not the, the fastest farm, but in the end it got us what we needed. So um, I'm happy with it. Hope you enjoyed this episode and I will see you soon in the next one. Goodbye.